Those Ales. Well, greetings, one and all. Ooh, dark and light. Night time. Daytime. Hello, and welcome to another quick Andy Does Ales in the middle of the day. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, work, again, gets in the way. Sorry about that. I don't know why it's going dark and light. Why is it going dark and light? Maybe I need to just... Is that better? Hmm. Have you got my good side? Yes. Right. <clears throat> One minute beer review. He does that, doesn't he? Righto. That's uh, uh, the Baron. Yeah. Right, Dad. Uh, that's um, the record shop. So, how many... It's all catching on. So, the beer buffoon might catch on one of these days. You never know. I am going to do a beer today that I rescued from the fridge. Yes, Malcolm, I rescued it from the fridge. At Weatherspoons. I saw it in Weatherspoons. Thought, that looks interesting. I'll have a go at that. So, it should be warm enough by now. Room temperature enough to be able to get some taste out of it. Which you can't do when it's permanently in the fridge. This is from Exmoor Brewery, under the name Exile. And it's an Urban Fox, cunningly distinctive, American Red IPA. That sounds very nice to my ears. Um, Exmoor Brewery, of course, do some very, very good beers. The Beast being one of them. It's a black 6% IPA. It's superb. It really is, really is nice. Um, so they're, they're based in Somerset, exmoreales.co.uk if you want to have a look. Um, this cunningly robust ale is brewed with crystal and Munich malt to give it a distinctive red hue in the glass. Liberal use of late centennial and cascade hops lend a wonderful punchy northwest US hop character giving citrus pine aromatics to balance the bold malt backbone. I shouldn't read that really first before I taste it, should I? I'm, uh, I'm compromised now. Oh no. Right, let's get it open. So we don't go everywhere like the last one did. No, I think we're safe. I think we're very safe. Let's pour it in the glass. How are you doing anyway? All right. Thank you to everybody who subscribed. I love to see the new subscribers. It's brilliant. Yeah, just keep them coming. Um, tell your friends, share a video if you like. I don't think anybody's ever, ever, shared one of my videos i don't know i've never seen evidence of it anyway so if you're in that frame of mind you know please do there we go a red ipa that certainly has a red hue to it doesn't it i can put it up to the window you can't see it not there yeah it's definitely a red hue to it i'm a poet and i don't know it all right, smell wise, okay, it smells like an IPA, which is a good thing. Mmm. Oh, that's lovely. That, that really smells very fresh. The late hops maybe just um, bring that smell out. So let's give it a go, shall we, sirs? And ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that's nice. Oh, now then. Oh, that, ooh, that's got a good hit. Mm. Oh, percentage. Mm. I neglected to... It's a 6.2. Well, you can taste that. I tell you, that is a... That's a wicked hit, that is. But it's got the, the really nice sweetness behind it from the IPA. The malt backbone, yes, definitely very malty not it's a it's a mm, i don't know let me check that is a good beer i'm glad i rescued it from the fridge because you wouldn't have those flavors if it was cold you've got the there's like there is there's a lovely lovely deep malt flavour there that's quite bitter, but then the little just a little hint of sweetness from the hops. It's lovely. It's perfect. It's great. It's a lovely mouthfeel. It's um, it's quite sharp initially, but then you get the the softness behind it, and it's um, 
I tell you what, Urban Fox, ex, they do make some good ales, these Exmoor Brewery. Oh, makes you burp silently. So it does the job. Uh, Urban Fox Cunningly Distinctive American Red IPA. <coughs> does bring you burp, thank you very much. So I may well be going back to Weatherspoons. Suggest that they get this on draft. But if I haven't got it on draft, I'll get it again in a can and enjoy it without a camera in front of me. So cheers everybody. This is well worth having. If you see one of spoons, go and get one. Mmm. Fabulous. Fabulous. Mmm. Save a bit for later. It's a very, very nice pint indeed. So yeah, please do. Go and try it. See what you think. I think it's lovely. It's got a lovely bitter finish, lovely malty finish with a very, very slight sweet overtone. Perfect. It's a good pint. And on that bombshell, I'll love you and leave you. Till the next time, folks. Now, hopefully, I'll be able to do some next week because I'm off work. So we'll see. Shall we? Take care. Subscribe if you like. And I'll see you very, very soon.